Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how we can compress any JPG or PNG picture without compromising with the quality. Now I know you must be expecting a continued video of a machine learning with Python video series, but I thought it was getting a bit boring. So I will once in a while include a short project like this one to just lighten up the mood. So first of all, let's see what is the required library. You need pillow to be installed. So just go to the command prompt. You can write CMD on your search bar and then just write pip install pillow. Then press enter and this package will be installed for you. For me, this package is already installed. So this is showing requirement already satisfied. I won't waste the time and close it. Okay. So now we are done with the requirement. Let's get to our sublime text and start writing our code. Okay. So now we are into our editor. Let's first import our required library. So we'll import PIL make sure that PIL is all capital. Now from PIL, we are gonna import our image uh, package. So first of all, we'll define the width of our picture. Now let's say that this is the picture that I'm gonna use. Let me show you. Now this is the picture of our Captain King, Virat Kohli, jersey number 18 and we'll use this picture to do all the resizing. Okay, so let's go through the property of this picture and let's see what are the heights and width. So let's scroll down and there you can see this is the width and this is the height. Let me note this down. So my width is equal to two triple six. I guess this is what the width was. Uh, yep, and triple three two is the height. Okay. So my height is equal to triple three two. Then we'll open our image let's say that we create a img variable and then we'll use the image dot open functionality of our image package to open our one dot jpg i guess this is what the name is one dot jpg file now make sure that you are not making a mistake with the small and capital alphabets because python is case sensitive here i is capital here pil is capital and here also i is capital okay so now we'll write that magical command which will transform or which will compress our image so we'll uh, use the image recycle command and then we'll pass the pil dot image dot anti alias i guess this is how it is pronounced i don't know what it is a n t i a l i a s anti alias <laughs> okay so i really don't know how it is pronounced so we'll use that to compress our image now by using this we are not compromising with the quality but it will take some time if you want to do things very fast and uh, for you quality is not the matter then you can use the thumbnail but we are gonna use the anti alias here So let's save our image by using 
image dot save and let's say resize resize dot jpg okay now let's save this and run our program now let's go to our folder and see our resize image now there you can see that the size of our image is reduced but the dimension the height and the width is same there you can see 952 kb and this is uh, 1.12 mb okay so i know this is not that much decrease but still now let's see the quality you'll see no difference in quality so this is pretty much a fair deal because our photo is also uh, compressed and we are saying no decrease in our quality so there you can see in both the image it's very difficult to see any quality drop let me zoom it to our king coli so there he is and let's zoom this one also okay so there you can see we are comparing both these pictures we are comparing both the pictures with the same zoom quality and there you can see there is no difference in quality as seen by the naked eye maybe there is some difference at the very micro level but with the naked eye you cannot see any difference in the quality so this is a fair deal to decrease the size by let's say 10% or 20% so this is it for this video and this pillow package is not only used for resizing or uh, opening and closing the image pillow is a very handy library when it comes to image processing that is you want to handle and process your image let's go to the documentary of pillow so if we go to the uh, pillow documentary and actually i want to go to the image documentary because i want to show you how the image module is working there you can see that our uh, pillow library is having lots of module but we are working on the image module there you can see we are having a lot of modules here so we'll focus on the image module there you can see with the image you can do a lot of things you can rotate you can there you can see that we are using the thumbnail to decrease the size and blend alpha composite composite there are many methods that you can use from this pil dot image module and this is a very handy package when it comes to image processing okay so this is it for this video and most probably in the next video we'll start off with our machine learning continuation video which was simple linear regression so meet you there bye bye